Hey, Steve with Best Custom Screens here. We're going to be installing a swinging screen door. Um, here's how it comes packaged. Uh, it will be boxed, um, generally. So you'll take it out of the box, and then you'll have inner pa packaging like this. What you need to do is just take it all apart. So we'll show you how to do that. So here we're opening the, the packaging. Like I said earlier, if you have um, a box, then you have to take it out of the box first. Okay, then he's going to take a pair of uh, tin snips to cut the strapping rather than trying to use a knife. You don't want to use a, a razor blade on, the, on these because, you know, by chance you don't want to be ripping the screen or scratching the frame or anything like that. So using a pair of snips, even a pair of scissors would work. So, And then as you open this box, you can see there's packaging here. You have the bug seal and then there's hardware in here. We'll be opening this up in just a minute. Okay. And on the bottom, there's nothing there. But then if you look here on the very side of it, you have um, some pieces of, of aluminum. Let's go ahead and we'll open that up. Lift, lift up the screen. Okay, and it's, you can see that it's, these, are, these are also strapped on. So what you can do is you hold, this, hold on to this, and then we're going to unstrap it again. So you see you're going to have two pieces here. You have one that is smaller, which is the bottom piece for the screen door. And then you have one that has hinges on it, which is the side piece. And we'll show you how, um, how this all works. So the hardware is going to include some instructions as well as a the strike plate uh, kit. The this is the retractor, the exterior handle, all the hardware, the screws, the interior handle, and all the different parts that are needed for this. Okay. So the, the first step that we're going to do is we have to put the side U channel on onto the door, and because the door handles on the left side, the hinge is going to go on the right side. So this is the piece that we're going to put on there. But if I put it up here right now, you can see it's too big. It's purposely made too big. Okay, so that way we can custom fit it into each door. Okay, so what I need to do first is measure the height of this. So that way we can custom fit it in there. Okay, this one is 80 inches. Um, it's actually 80 and like a 16th. So uh, we'll cut it to uh, right at 80 inches, okay? Okay, so we're going to measure this out at 80 inches. And what you do is when you put your tape on the end here, it's going to, you have to pull on it. You don't push on anything, so you just make sure that you're pulling on it. And then, over here, uh, we mark it right at 80 inches, okay? Okay, so we have this cut, and then the hinges are here, and they're gonna go right on to this frame here. So does it fit? Yes, okay. So you also need the correct screws. These are the screws that we use to install it on a standard frame like this. Once in a while, um, you might need to, to, to attach your own longer screws, but if you see the style, this is the style head, and they're generally a one inch screw, okay? It comes in the hardware packet. So, we're going to go ahead and get started on this. The only thing you have to make sure to do is there's these little sponge things, and it's such protectant for packaging. So, you've got to remove them before you install. Let's stick it there. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to just here, right, 
to the make sure there's enough space top and bottom. This fits. I used to do one top, one bottom, one middle. Okay, and I'll just put, at the, first I'll usually put just one screw on each hinge, make sure everything's working, okay? And then, okay, so that all works good, just fine. So then I'm gonna put the rest of the screws. Okay, so just make sure the outside of your door, if you have any kind of frame to it, like so this has the, the, the bars here go on the exterior, you have your kick plate here, um, it's on the outside. This is how it should be mounted. What you're going to do is you're going to slide this right into this U-channel here, okay, and this plate. But usually I start at the bottom here, and I just kind of slide it in, tap it down, tap it in, okay. It's kind of centered. What we want to do is we want to have it go up and aligned with the top as close as I can. Okay. When I got this right in place, we're going to go ahead and add the screws, both a couple on the outside and a couple on the inside to make sure that it holds in place. As long as it's lined up here on the side. Just remember the wood sometimes, the molding that's on the side sometimes is going to be bowing or whatnot. So you got to get it just right so that way it fits in there well. Okay, so let's go ahead and run these screws. I'm going to just do one on the outside. Okay. And then a couple on the inside. I don't want to do too much because at first um, you want to make sure everything's working. Um, and I'll go back and usually add screws later just to be safe that everything's looking good. Okay. So, there you go. I'm do a second one down here. It with the screws. Piece that's going to go on the bottom plate, and it's going to have a, that bug seal that we talked about. It's going to attach to this, but first we're going to cut it to size. Okay, so I'm going to need a tape measure. Thank you. So tape measure. Uh, we're going to basically measure from the edge of the door to the actual other uh, U channel for the that holds the hinge. So right now I'm at a size of 33 and three quarters for this particular door. It's not the same on every door, so you have to measure it yourself, okay? Okay. See the, the, the bug seal at the bottom, how it has this notch in it? And there's a notch here. It's not a notch, I'm sorry. It's, it looks kind of like a Y, but it's going to go right into this notch, just like this. It's going to slide right in. Okay. Just to make sure it's straight, because it could snag on the aluminum. So just take your time, ease it in. Okay. It's a little longer. you got to kind of play with it a little. There we go. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave the excess here and here just for now. Okay, we're gonna trim it after. So this excess and this excess, I'm gonna leave there just for now. But we're gonna add it to the bottom, okay? So, make sure this all works. So, slide it all the way down. So this is nice and tight down here. See that it's it's blocking the for air and bugs and whatever else won't get through there. And we add 
our screws again. I'm gonna do one on the outside again, and then two on the inside. One there. <clears throat> So we have this excess here, what I'm going to do is just take a blade, and cut it right at the edge. Sometimes there's different doors, there's different situations. and the strike plate right now. So the way to do that is you need the instructions here and there's also a, um, a, a tool, it's a tool actually that you need to attach this to the door to help you drill the right places. Okay, um, and then um, you will have the both handles, the interior and the exterior, and then the strike plate which includes a spring, um, a couple other parts including the screws and the hardware that you need to, to mount this together. So this shows you what you need. Uh, you need both the quarter inch drill bit and a 5 16 inch uh, drill bit. And what you need to do is have a, a, a drill that you could uh, attach a drill bit to. Okay, and then we're gonna need to attach this piece to the door frame, but you need to make sh sure that you're not lining up with the deadbolt or the door handle. So we're gonna make it uh, above that. So it's gonna be above my line here. It'll be ab above, above this area, okay? Instruction here, it's telling you to, it says place this part of the template inside of the door against the door stop. So it's gonna go exactly where the door stop's gonna go. So, and this here is obviously where you're gonna drill the holes onto the frame. So we do first, is you're gonna I'm gonna fold it this way first which is actually the opposite direction so we're gonna fold it like this so that way we know exactly where the line is and then we're gonna turn it the other way okay then it's gonna go just like this okay you see here it goes here okay so what I'm going to do is we're going to use a piece of masking tape to hold it right there, okay? And I'm going to put, that's where the strike plate is, this is where we're going to drill our holes, okay? So, take a second piece of masking tape, make sure it's there, and it's not sticking too good, so put another piece. Okay, so right there. So you can kind of visualize how this works. This is probably the most difficult part about installing a, uh, a swinging screen door is this. It's not very difficult, but you can see that um, that's how exactly how things are going to be drilled and installed. So we're going to take our drill bits and we're going to drill through the, um, the holes that are right here and here and there, okay? Okay, first we're gonna drill through. We put the drill bit of the 5 16 on the drill. So that's only the center hole, if you see here. The numbers are upside down on this diagram because of the way the door is. But you can see here, 5 16 and, and the top and the bottom are gonna be a quarter. So they're gonna do the 5 16 first. And you have to make sure that your drill is straight. Okay, and then we're gonna start drilling through this. Now I'm going to change the bit. And we're going to drill 
through it. Right on the quarter inch, top and bottom. One thing I didn't mention is you really have to have these um, pre-piloted uh, drill bits. It, it it helps a lot because if you have like older bits, um, wood bits won't really work. You have to have a good aluminum or metal bit, okay? Just so that way they cut quick um, and straight because if you don't, then you're gonna struggle with it and then you're gonna have a mess. So just make sure you have good quality tools, okay? Here, I didn't get the handles yet. I just got the harder with the strike plate. I'm gonna order, I mean, open up the package here. Took everything out. Okay. Right now, I don't need a couple of these things. Just gonna get the screws and the strike plate that I need. Okay. Okay. So as you can see, the strike plate is gonna go right there. Okay. Right where the the the, the picture is. It literally is gonna go right here. So to match it up, I'm gonna go ahead and and, and start the screws, but I'm not gonna finish it off. So hold on to this. We're going to take our drill, screw, put the plate back on there, right where it needs to go. I'm going to drill this right in the center. And there's, you can see there's actually a, not really a need either. If you look, I'm right at the center. So even on the bottom one, if I screwed right into the center to start it, just to mark it. So that should be good. Now I can open this. And I have two marks, one and two. It's gonna give me my strike plate. So I'm gonna go right in the middle. There. And then make sure this is lined up. So we just added the strike plate first. So the next step is actually, now that we've done the strike plate, we could remove our tape and this, and you can see our, our holes all lined up, ready to go. It, it tells you in the instructions how to attach these parts to the latch. So it's, it's a little hard to see probably on this video, but I'll, I'll show you uh, right now how to do it. But the, 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 the spindle and the spring are the two and it's going to go together just like this. So the smaller end goes towards this piece and the bigger end goes here. Okay. And then it's going to go on to this. Okay. And then this piece goes right in there. So the exterior latch and this pin and spring are going to be, see it's mounted just like that, just like in the instructions like I showed you. And it's gonna go right here. Okay, so it's, it just slides all the way out. Now see, there's something there's something holding it back. Now what is it? It's the burrs. Um, if you had a deburring tool or even a blade helps. Now that we deburred them with the, with the blade, just touch this here to make sure this lines up. Yeah, it, it wants to move because it's supposed to move, right? And then you take your interior latch here. And this piece goes on the inside towards where the strike plate's going to go. And you see here the pin slides right into this hole. Okay, just slide it right there. Okay. And then you hold it together, and then I take the screws right into the hole. First, I just I hand tighten it just really quick, just to just to make sure that it's going into the, the other side. If you're having a little trouble, you may have to wiggle it around. It looks like it's going in. 
Okay, so it's it's in there. Okay. Screwdriver. Okay, not a drill because you don't want to over tighten this. This is a machine screw, and if you over tighten this part, then your door handle won't work correctly. So you hand tighten it with the screwdriver here. So you just tighten it up. You notice I alternate sides just to make it even. And then I'm not over tightening. There, it's good. Okay, and then we can check to see if it works. Right on the side plate, boom, perfect. There, and then you can open it from the outside too. It's not locked right now. Go ahead and open it, put your hand. Cameraman, there you go. Easy enough. And then uh, if you come on inside. Welcome to my lovely home. <laughs> And then it also uh, locks. It's not really a safety lock. It's just so that way your pets or nothing opens the door. Remember, this type of screen door is not a security door. It's a screen door. Okay, so but it's locked. It's latched, so nobody could really enter and exit. Um, stop. And use the center of the top of the jam. Okay, so I'm gonna mount that now. Open this up. So I have a little bit of room. Right in the center. And usually at first, I'll, before I put all three screws, I'm going to put two. Okay, good. Okay, to do the next step, we're going to add the retractor on. You need this split pin, okay? And then also you need either a flathead and or um, some needle nose or some regular pliers and basically that's going to be to split that. I'll show you how to, how to do that in just a second. Okay, on, on this retractor, there's a spacer here. Now, this spacer has to stay, but there's no space to actually put the pin when the spacer is there currently because it's completely back. So what you do is you take the spacer off and just hold it to the side. Okay, and then this is going to be, buttons going to be exposed at the front so that way they can see it so that's going to be you can turn you can turn this if you need to okay so i'm going to do a little more like that okay if you can see up there you're going to line this hole up with that hole can you see it underneath okay and then when you do that what you do is you put the pin right in the hole there and then you slide it to the other hole okay and to hold it in place go underneath to hold that there in place, the first step I do is I use a flathead screwdriver, okay? And I'm just going to push it in the center and just pry it over just a little bit just to get it in place, okay? Because then you're also going to need your needle nose to pry it over just a little more. Be careful not to rip it because you could actually break this. If you use too much strength on it, just enough just to hold it. Gravity will do the rest. Okay, see? Okay. Use your retractor as well as I've got the door plate, a couple of screws, and there's a pin that's going to hold it in place. You can see the pin. Okay, so. One thing we miss on the other side is this actually has to have the, the spacer. So you pull this out, add the spacer, okay. So it's a little crooked. It's a good little troubleshooting technique there. So you have to make sure this is straight, not the pin's not going to line. There, see? Done. Okay, so we're going to see how the retractor works. Okay, it's closing a little slow. So I'm going to close it with my hand. We're going to make an adjustment. I'm going to go ahead and 
One, two, three, four turns. Let's see. So it retracts a little better. If you, if you want a little tighter, just to slam a little better, um, you could pull it out a couple more turns. Okay, so if you want to be able to hold the door open, uh, for somebody who want to come in and out, you can hold it open, you can lock it in place, okay? And then when you're done, latch it. Just click it again. And there you go. That's it. All right, so that's how you get done a swinging screen door, how to install it. If you'd uh, like to get your order placed, uh, go to www.bestcustomscreens.com. Take care.